So many people say that they like Bitcoin because it has a fixed supply of tokens. And Ethereum, it has unlimited token supply. That is so stupid. I'll tell you why. So first of all, Bitcoin will only, according to the code, only have 20 mil, 21 million Bitcoins printed. They're at about 19 million now, which means it will print another 2 million tokens. A hundred years from now, it will stop printing new tokens. Oh, wow, that's so awesome. It's fixed supply because in a hundred years, it'll stop. Listen, I like to, I always talk about think long term, but a hundred years, a hundred year outlook, it's a little long for your forecast. If you really want to talk about supply of tokens, what's it going to be over the next year, the next couple years, next five years, you know, past five years? I mean, come on, whatever. Meanwhile, Ethereum, oh, it's unlimited. It's unlimited because, you know, it doesn't have a fixed supply in 100 years. Well, what is its supply? Well, the, here's a fact that I know. Um, already... Bitcoin is printing more tokens than Ethereum today. And although I'm including, because Ethereum, when, when people pay for gas fees, Ethereum burns those tokens. So the amount that gets printed minus the amount burned, I'm calling the total amount created, which is really what it is. And already, Ethereum produces less. And after ETH 2.0 launches... It's going to be even less. Now people say, oh, well, gas fees will go down. Well, even if even if gas fees are at zero, Ethereum will be issuing fewer new tokens than Bitcoin for the foreseeable future. Oh, but, oh, but Ethereum always changes their token. They're, they're just going to change it. Well, first of all, they change it after years of resource. Sorry, after years of research. With the research being the intention of maximizing security with the lowest amount printing of tokens possible. These changes aren't haphazard. They happen after years and years of research and planning. And, you know, and it has been evolving to, for, for good reason, because it's got the best monetary policy, much better monetary policy than Bitcoin's because it's gone through that research but we're pretty much done here. When ETH 2.0 launches, I mean, I'm not saying that things will never change, but the changes have to be approved by 80% of everybody or more agreeing in order to, to, to fork an upgrade. So they're not going to just change it to like, oh, let's print more and give it a Vitalik. It's not going to happen. Anyways, Ethereum's monetary policy is better than Bitcoin's because it prints and will continue to print fewer new tokens. Ethereum's monetary policy is deflationary, more deflationary than Bitcoin's. But to say, oh, well, I don't like it because Bitcoin has a fixed supply and Ethereum's is, is forever increasing. Although that statement is true, it is misleading and wrong. And unfortunately, most of the people who say it don't even know that it's wrong. I mean, the people who created that saying might know they're manipulating you morons who believe it. Check out my first, my pinned tweet on my Twitter, where I've got a graph and more information on this. It's important to understand, especially understanding how ETH 2.0 works launching this summer. All right. My Twitter is Dave Levine, the number zero, calm. Check it out. Let me know what you think. And conversations, uh, post comments below. I read, I comment. Check out the Discord for this channel. Link below in the um, description. I go there. We chat. We discuss. I like to hear what you think. And don't forget to show me love. Smash that like button and subscribe. And watch one video per day. Thank you.